What's up everyone, welcome to another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, I am going to talk about all the latest developments from Starbase and exciting updates from the Starship launch site in Florida. Before starting the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I am trying my best to bring you the latest updates about SpaceX and other space news. The new clamp load testing has been going on on the orbital launch mount. Although it is hard to see how, and when they conduct this test, it seems like all is going well. Yesterday, Starship S-24 was lifted down from the test stand and was put on a transport stand. The transport stand does not have any counterweights on it at the moment, so it is unlikely for S-24 to move anywhere soon. Maybe all the counterweights that SpaceX owns have been used in the clamp load test. I expect the clamp load test to be completed in a day or two to make way for Booster 7 again to take the center stage. Cameron County officials have released a road closure notice for the transportation of a big starship on Sunday afternoon. This could be for Booster 7's rollout to the launch pad and Booster 9 may soon return to the Megabay for engine installation. The same county judge has ordered the closure of the highway on January 11th to resume starship testing operations. This is just great news because Booster 7's final test run could start from here. I have another important and exciting update from Florida as well. Yesterday night, while most of you were sleeping, SpaceX rolled out the first rousing piece of hardware, the carriage for the chopstick arms to launch Complex 39A. I talked about the red support stand near the tower in my last video. It was a clear indication that the chopstick rollout and installation is imminent. Sam Patel, the senior director of Starship Operations, is taking charge of the construction of the Florida Starship launch site. With all the experiences he has in his hands and from the lessons he learned from Starbase, completion of this Starship launch site could be faster than Starbase in Texas. And when it is completed, Launch Complex 39A will look something like this. Two towers for two different rockets. Way to go SpaceX. We are all proud of what you guys are accomplishing in a short period of time. That is it for this video guys, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.